Hello, I'm Ariel Alonso. You can just call me Naro, and I will be reading a piece entitled Playing Passover. Now, uh, this poem is an outcome of my exploration and my recollection of childhood memories, of gender and sexuality, of stigma and crime. Thank you for listening. Playing Passover. While boys plucked runts from the litter for roasting, some holding on, stretching their mother's dry teats, so selfish, we went to scrape mothers of pearl from the slack jaws of mussels. Beached on the shore, a polar bear with leftover fur of froth knelt on salt, waves like half-breed street kids begging more from its given legs. Unafraid, we sipped out the last glacier hidden in her maw, learned how to shiver. Then carved out her heart, its cold blood a secret smudged by our skirts as we ran to keep it to ourselves. We passed and dribbled it, still beating ruby, shooting at any halo leaving hints of a hit and run in empty basketball courts. We laughed and called it our Pacific Ring of Fire. When we grew tired, we let it dry under the sun, took turns suckling, pretending it were burnt thumbs of tamarind. We felt its fuel and downpour, lava that dripped and stained the slashed flour sacks between our thighs. Quietly, we hoped a new landmass would form. This heat we painted across the bamboo doors to stroke God's eyes away, make the hut invisible as our lips ultrasounded these wombs, hushed bellows in our below. A petty crime when future midwives ride in tandem to, to snatch what couldn't be freely taken. Briefest sentence imprisoned in each pant. From afar, we heard bonfire and gongs, warning of a war, of how ready we were to find shelters of our own. Between sheets of tin roof, the bear's ashes singed the sky like a wet dream. Eggless for now, we let our nests cry. When our parents found us, we'd hide behind the alibi that those forbidden sounds were of a backstrap loom. Hey guys, my name is Maki Turichilia. I am from Hamtikantike and my native language is Kinaraya. So just a quick background about my writing experience. I've started writing in Kinaraya back when I was in high school and that's roughly eight years ago. And from then on I was able to attend several workshops um, that has developed and honed my skills in writing, of course, with the help of my mentors and um, established writers that was able to share their knowledge and expertise with me on writing. So right now, I'll be reading one of my poems, part of the Busilak, which is the new queer uh, anthology edited by Sir J. Neil Garcia. And just some quick background about the poem that I, I will be reading. It's called Patio or Cemetery in English. And it's actually part of the third Merla Diaries. So Merla Diaries is like a series of poetry collections that I've been publishing as a zine. So the first Merla Diaries was published in 2017 as part of the zine zoned in Iloilo. The second Merla Diaries was also part of the third zine zoned in Iloilo. And uh, actually the third Merla Diaries is still unpublished. And I'm also working on the fourth one already right now. So Patio as a poem was formulated or created out of this inside joke that me and my friends have 
um, it's this. It's about this certain moment when, like the semen of a man, is ejaculated out of the body, and then the baby or the human being that was supposed to be, uh, that was supposed to grow up out of that fluid of that bodily fluid, will forever hunt whoever has been part of that intercourse. So, actually, it was a funny thing, or it's a funny thought. But when I wrote it, it became very dark and sinister. It was not actually my intention to do that, but it just got out of my system while I was writing it. So, and I'm very happy and satisfied of the outcome of the poem because it stripped all the humor out of it and it gave another dimension to it. So I'll now be reading first the Kinaray version and then I'll be reading next the uh, English version all right all right so all right so this is uh, patio in Kinaraya version <clears throat> saksi ang dilim ang mga panulay ang mga tamaho kag ang mga murto nga nagapahimuyang sa binit-binit sa ingas kang darwa kalalang diya kita sa mga nagaturo Diyak kita sa mga nagapahuway. Diyak ko idupra patiyan kag idiret sa lubang ang puturo ka mga bata na daad ng induktor, maestro, inhinyero, siman, tambay, alpot, adik o kwankriminal. And here is the English version of Patio. The dark witnesses, demons, elementals, ghosts, quiet in the corner before the moans of two souls. Here they sleep, here they rest, here I'll spit, kill and bury the future of those who would have been doctors, teachers, engineers, seafarers, the unemployed, prostitutes, addicts, criminals. So that's it guys, that's Patio, one of my poems that is part of the uh, Busilak, the new queer anthology uh, by the UP Press and edited by Sir J. Neil Garcia. I am very much honored to share the pages of this uh, queer anthology with the amazing, with the other amazing poets that I've been with also in the uh, workshop. So, so if you'd like, you can purchase your copy from Shopee or Lazada.